Shalom, this is Rabbi Lang, and here's the thought for the week. We find ourselves in special, auspicious days leading up to Rosh Hashanah to the new year 5782. We're in the month of Elul. We are on the t- days of Slichot. Slichot means forgiveness. We ask God for pardon. These are days that God forgives us for all our past deeds and blesses us already for the new year. It's the days that we wish each other Shana Tova, that we should wish everyone a sweet and healthy new year. We are in the month of Elul where the founder of Chabad shares that it's like the king is in the field. God is in the field with every one of us and smiles at us and receives us warmly and pleasantly and blesses us. God is very close to us. Every day the shofar is sound, sounded as we prepare ourselves for Rosh Hashanah. In the Parsha of this week, we talk about Atem Nitzavim Hayom Kluchem. Moses tells the Jewish people the last month before his passing, one of his sermons, he shares that you, the Jewish people, stand together. The leaders, the elders, men, women, and children, all segments of the Jewish people stand together before God. One of the greatest preparations that we could have for Rosh Hashanah to be blessed is to unite together, to be as one. When we don't see differences, when we see unity, when the community is together and we look after each other, does someone else have needs for the high holidays? Does everyone have their provisions met? Every community has a, a fund, traditionally, that helps care for people. We're going to be sending out packages of food to people for, high ho- for dinner, for Rosh Hashanah, to people that are in need. We also invite the community for our own Rosh Hashanah dinner. Um, you can also order to-go dinners. We're going to be celebrating this year in a tent outdoors so that it could be safe for everybody to make sure that everyone is safe and that we're going to be also having Rosh Hashanah at different parks this year, staggered both on Tuesday and Wednesday, September 7th, September 8th. So with that, I'd like to bless every one of you that how do we prepare for Rosh Hashanah? Very simple. Pick up the call, call someone in need. Make sure that the needs of everyone that you know is met. Physical needs, food, extra something for the family and spiritual needs. Make sure everyone you know is going to be hearing the shofar on Rosh Hashanah. We have so many different ways for that to happen. Just call us if you you have an issue anywhere around the world. We could arrange it for you. The Chabad network is tremendous. 5,000 centers in over, maybe over 100 countries. So I wish you and your family a Shana Tova, a sweet and healthy year. And let's all pray that our unity should bring God's blessings to all of us, including, and most importantly, the blessing of world peace with the coming of Mashiach speedily. Amen.